It is my honor to welcome you all to the 87th annual Annisfield Wolf Book Awards ceremony. Today, many of the issues that Edith cared so deeply about, human creativity, diversity, equity, and justice, remain at the forefront of our societal conversations and the Foundation's mission and our work. Good evening, Cleveland. In my nearly a quarter of a century actually hosting this event, I can't remember a time when the stakes were higher for education, for reading, and ladies and gentlemen, for books themselves. Danica Kelly is a recipient of the Annisfield Book Award for Poetry for Renunciations. I was trying to find my way out of a story that I had been telling myself about myself for almost my whole life. Um, to explain why my dad abused me when I was a kid. The story I told was simple and familiar, that I was unworthy of love, that I was unworthy of safety. I knew the story was untrue. Writing The Renunciations helped me disrupt that story. Percival Everett is the recipient of this year's Annis Field Wolf Book Award for Fiction. I wrote this book just before the pandemic and before the, the, the summer of protests following uh, George Floyd's uh, murder, George Floyd's lynching. American outrage has a history of only surviving a couple of days before something else replaces it. But that summer, things went on for a while, and I was really proud of the, this generation. And so it, it, I said it was their turn to speak because they were speaking a lot better than I could. Taya Miles is the recipient of the Annisfield Wolf Book Award for Nonfiction. I just felt that I was falling into this object, you know, into this sack, because it was at once so beautiful, so haunting, and so emblematic of the experience that black women and black children and enslaved people have had on this land. And at that moment, I knew that I had to write a book about this sack, even though I wasn't sure how successful such a book might be. George McCary is the recipient of this year's Annis Field Wolf Book Award for Nonfiction. There are advantages to being on the outside. Innovation, moral clarity, often that comes from the outside. That comes from hybridization and synthesis, the outside grabbing and reforming what is in. However, there are costs, and the costs can be huge. They can be cruel, they can be murderous, especially when what is diverse and different becomes loathed and degraded, dehumanized or demonized. A Fear and Strangers was my attempt to examine those deadly transformations. Ishmael Reed is the recipient of the 2022 Annisfield Wolf Lifetime Achievement. Joyce had his Dublin. James Farrell had his Chicago. I have written extensively about 53rd Street in Oakland. My experience in this inner city neighborhood inspired Nonfiction, a play, articles, poetry, and even a song. If critics think that I am an angry person, they haven't read Acts or Proverbs. Thank you for this award. Writers, readers, we have poetry in the house tonight. Thank you and good night.